Hey there, future nurses. Today, we're gonna talk about a new style of question you will see on the next generation NCLEX called bow tie questions. So what exactly is a bow tie question? Well, it's based on the new clinical judgment measurement model or CJMM, which I'll talk about more in a different video. The first thing to notice with bow tie questions is the information you are given about the client and the situation that's going on. So as an example, you might be given things like nurse's notes, vital signs, or laboratory results. You will see these as different tabs. You might be given one or multiple tabs. After you assess the information and the situation, you should now look to answer the question. So when looking at the bow tie, you will see different boxes with columns underneath. The center box asks the nurse to address the condition. So based on all the information above, what do you think the patient is most likely experiencing? Before you say, wait, 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 nurses don't diagnose, we're not diagnosing this patient because nurses don't diagnose. But we do need to have an idea of what is going on in our patient. It's all about recognizing those cues because oftentimes nurses are the first ones to pick up on those cues or a status change. The two boxes on the left ask what two conditions the nurse should take based on the condition you just chose. And the two boxes on the far right asks, what two parameters should the nurse monitor to track the client's progress? Okay, now that you've looked at all the information given to you, you're now ready to answer the question. And when you're ready to answer the question, you always need to start with the middle box, specifying the patient's condition. You won't be able to go any further or answer any other questions until you do this. After you decided what condition your patient is most likely experiencing, drag and drop your answer from the column to the box. Quick reminder that client and patient are used interchangeably. On the NCLEX, you'll most likely see client being used. Let's talk about some tips for bow tie questions. When reading through these scenarios, learn to recognize the cues. Ask yourself, what findings are normal or abnormal? Answering the bow tie questions might seem daunting, but think of it as three different parts, like three multiple choice questions. This way you can focus on one step at a time. Okay, let's say you're unsure about the condition. You can use the process of elimination you know that one of four of the conditions given are correct. It's good to know that bow tie questions are scored with a 0-1 scoring. This means you will receive one point for every correct answer, and for any incorrect answers, you will receive zero points. This means that incorrect answers don't count against you. Bow tie questions have five potential points you can earn. So keep that in mind when you're answering it, partial credit does apply to these questions. Overall, remember that answering a bow tie question has multiple steps involved. Take each column one by one. For more NCLEX tips like this, be sure to check out the complete NCLEX study notebook. It comes with a calendar to write your NCLEX study plan, must know signs and symptoms, and NCLEX facts. If you want all this for the NCLEX, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on the next generation NCLEX and all things nursing school. Happy studying, future nurses.